Do you know where is your thyroid gland located and what is its anatomy and what size it is? What are its function? You don't know that? Then stay tuned with me. We will discuss that today. Namaste. I am Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel, endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. Today we are going to discuss about the anatomy of the thyroid gland. Now, we all have a thyroid gland which is located in our neck and we have only one thyroid gland in a normal situation. By the way, do you know where this the word thyroid came from? Now, the, the history goes all the way to 1600. Okay, At that time, there was an anatomist by the name Thomas Wharton. This Thomas Wharton has given this num name called as a thyroid. And why did he name so? Because he observed in the ancient Greek time, there was one shield and that shield looked very similar to thyroid gland called thyros and that's why he gave this name as a thyroid. And that's how we all name this beautiful butterfly shaped gland as a thyroid. By the way, this gland is only one in number and it is situated in our neck. Now, where in our neck? Now, I have this anatomical position. So, this is our windpipe, also called as a trachea, okay, which carries the air. And this gland is situated just in front of the trachea. Now, this gland, as you can see, it's, it's a brownish to red in color. This gland which appears like a butterfly shape or also like an alphabet H. Now this gland has a two lobes, a right lobe and a left lobe. And both of these lobes are connected by a horizontally framed a tissue called as an isthmus. Now this gland is anywhere around 4 to 6 cm in size. If you talk about the weight, then this gland weighs hardly around 20 to 60 grams. And this gland, by the way, is the largest endocrine gland of our body. In a woman, the thyroid gland tends to be a little bigger in size compared to that of a man. And when a woman undergoes during the pregnancy, at that time, the size of the gland further increases. Now, so this thyroid gland which is a brownish to red in color. Now, why is that so? Because it has a lot of blood supply. Now, why does it need so much blood supply? It's because it is an endocrine gland. Do you know what is endocrine gland? It's a gland who makes a hormone and these hormones goes directly into the blood. Okay, so that's the reason why this gland has a rich blood supply. Just to tell you one more interesting point about the thyroid gland is that the thyroid gland is very very closely associated with one nerve which we call it as a laryngeal nerve. This nerve is responsible for our voice. So you might have heard that the people who have a thyroid problem they get a change of the voice. That's because of this point. Also and when your thyroid gland increases in size that condition is called as a goiter and many a times this goiter has to be operated by a surgery. So when you, a surgeon or a doctor is going to perform this surgery, he has to be extremely careful. Otherwise, by chance if this laryngeal nerve gets damaged, then you can have a voice problem after the surgery. All right. So you also have to select a very skilled surgeon who does not perform such mistake. All right, so that's about the anatomy of the thyroid gland. If you cut your thyroid gland and observe that under the microscope, then you will see that this entire thyroid gland is made up of lots and lots of small, small cells. And these cells are called as a follicle cell, also called as a follicular cell. Now, so this follicular cell inside contains your hormone, and that hormone is bound to a protein called as a thyroglobulin. Now, your thyroid gland, okay, if we talk about the embryological development, so what is embryological development? When we all were in our mother's uterus. So by the time we were just three to four weeks, at that time the thyroid gland had started manufacturing. 
your thyroid gland started developing and by the time your, we were all 18 to 20 weeks old our thyroid was completely independent and was producing its hormone T3 and T4. Though the thyroid gland is the largest endocrine gland, it is still under control by a one another gland and that is a pituitary gland which is located inside our head in our brain area. And this pituitary gland, we call it as a master endocrine gland because this is the one which is controlling entire endocrine system of our body. So your pituitary gland makes a hormone called as a TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone. This TSH hormone is going to give a signal to your thyroid gland and your thyroid gland in response will make two hormones. One is a T3 that is triiodothyronine and second is a T4 that is thyroxine. Now both of these hormones are very very important for our body to function. These hormones control our entire body's metabolism. So whether you talk about your heart rate, your periods, your mood, your energy, everything is controlled by your thyroid hormones. By the way, this T3 and T4, both of these hormones contains a very important mineral. Do you know that? If yes, put that your answer in the comment box. I want to know that. Okay, so now let's give you, let me give you the answer. The important mineral needed is the iodine. Yes, you need iodine for a right functioning of your thyroid gland and to produce a thyroxine hormones. Though T3 and a T4 hormones, out of these two hormones, the T4 is produced in a larger quantity, yet it is in the inactive form. So when you want the active form of the hormone then this T4 undergoes into chemical change and makes a hormone called as a T3. It is this T3 which is the most active, powerful or bioactive in nature. Now so besides these two hormones your thyroid also makes one more hormone and that is called as a calcitonin. Does this name sound some familiar to something? Yes. It sounds similar to calcium and calcitonin. So the function of this calcitonin hormone is to maintain the right amount of the calcium level in your body. When a thyroid is functioning absolutely normal, we call that condition as a euthyroid. And when your hormone functions less than the requirement, we call it as a hypothyroid. And when your thyroid functions more than the requirement, we call it as a hyperthyroid. Now, so now we know what are the few interesting points about the thyroid gland. If you know any more interesting point about this gland, do leave your answer in the comment box. Let me see how much knowledge you have about this gland. All the time we are making the videos on a various thyroid abnormality conditions. So if you or any of your family member is undergoing any kind of a thyroid health problem, do watch my other videos. They will give you more detailed knowledge about hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, how to do the thyroid blood test, how to take a thyroid medicine correctly. All right. And if you want to have a, a personalized a paid consultation with me, then in the description box, a number is mentioned. You can reach out to us or by WhatsApp, my staff or my assistant will help you for a paid consultation. Thank you for joining me till here now. And I wish you a great health and namaste all the way from India.